Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are back with some more RimWorld today and we are starting off with quite a gruesome sight here. Our flesh golem is being enhanced with some rotting corpses. Like I said, it's not pleasant but hopefully these golems are going to keep us nice and safe here at the colony. Not that we've been struggling too much but since we are currently under the losing is fun difficulty, we, we have to anticipate anything. Randy could hit us with back-to-back -back raids and really devastate the place so every free moment we have is very valuable to us speaking of which there's a bit of a gap here in our uh timeline but we've seen longer gaps no doubt about it but again randy's random that's why they call him that so how is everybody out there doing i'm glad you have joined me once again for the series we are steadily approaching the new dlc and i cannot wait i'm really pumped to see how that goes i'm going to make another video i think halfway through with updates and talking about the new content or at least the sneak peeks that they've released up to this point but regardless guys we are just still going strong with the medieval colony and i don't plan on ending it at least until the update comes out so don't worry about that hopefully we can retire it peacefully and maybe pick it up again at some point in the future you know we'll have to up mate wait till all the mods are updated and i don't know sometimes Sometimes there might be some issues with that you know a save file from a previous update but we can always try it but regardless you can look forward to tons more RimWorld content on the channel that's one thing I've always said before is of all the games and the variety I play RimWorld is going to be one of the few constants on the channel I'll always have a sim series going for it there might be a gap of a week or two in between here and there just for a rest break and to come up with new ideas but anyway guys enough pontificating and talking about the future let's focus on right now and what we've got ahead of us today and speaking of the security of the base here i've made some changes to the front line after the most recent raid we had, I realized that our people didn't quite have full range on this section over here. Yeah, the, the range finder was only going to about here-ish. Well, we're going to find out exactly how far it goes. Because if we don't have sight on this entire area, then what happens was the raids were just gathering right here, basically. And the long-range shooters were able to hit some of our people without us being able to hit them, which is a big no-no. So, it's still not necessarily perfect. I'd really love to see another raid. But I've got a few of our pawns set up over here, so we can kind of test it. Let's do it one at a time. Oysters just got pretty standard crossbow, so that's going to be one of the shorter ones. And you can see it still doesn't reach there, but that might be unavoidable to a degree, like some of them aren't going to be able to reach. Now, he has a great bow, and an item like that, I feel like, should probably be able to reach the, extents, the extent. So, one of the things we can do is move some of these structures forward. I think it's probably safe to make some adjustments here, as long as I leave a gap on both sides that people can travel and stuff. But this has been suggested too and by some commenters, I think. But it's just now that we've gotten caught up on most of our construction. You know, I'm adding in some floors and stuff like that for efficiency and movement speed. But other than that, we can start to just kind of tweak things a little bit here and there. So it's really helpful. And not to mention our man, where is he? Power. Yep, little Terran Power has uh, grown up recently and we gave him a construction passion so hopefully he can help things out a little bit too that reminds me though i don't think i set his work tab up properly yeah i need to go in here and tweak a few things no doubt about it but regardless you can see i'm trying to be more and more careful here let's look at beetle he's another one that's yeah he doesn't have full range with the a normal war bow and chris oh he's got the pila the worst of them so obviously we've got a bit more work to do to make everybody, you know, have a viable shot. I can test some different areas too. But either way, like I said, we've still got a bit of work to do here up front. Oh boy, check it out guys. Connie has gone into labor. She dropped her magical staff, Staff of the Defender. This thing's amazing too, but let's not get distracted right now. We need to rescue her, get her to the hospital so we can have a nice, healthy little baby. 
Okay, well, we've got Dark Light over here. He's one of our newer recruits, old guy, but um, he's got Connie bringing her into the hospital. Of course, they always take him to the farthest bed. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Okay, now we've got her safe and sound. We can start the childbirth. Where is it? Did I miss it already? Why is it not showing up there? Huh, yeah, strangely enough, there's no option to start the, the labor. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe I did something wrong, or I waited too long, but either way, I'll keep a close eye on her. Maybe it'll pop up, but hopefully we have a healthy birth. Phew. Oh, okay. We had a healthy childbirth. Little baby Gorora. <laughs> Gorar. We'll change that name eventually. But this actually makes me think we probably need to set up a cradle or a crib in Beetle and Connie's room. But I don't even know, yeah. Um, oops, yeah, we haven't done that yet. No big deal. Look, Beetle's sound asleep while his child's being born. That was my fault, Beetle. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know what happened. We couldn't initiate the proper ritual or preparation for it. But regardless, up oh, there it is, the crib. All right, let's get that thing prioritized. Blitz, come on in, buddy. We're missing the timber. Damn it. There's always something around this place, isn't it? All right, another big moment for the colony. Little Prissy has had her seven-year growth moment. So let's scroll down here and see what she's learned. Okay, three passions available, which is good. That's the maximum. And she's got quite a few traits here. A couple of good ones, body mod or kind, although in this environment of medieval, it's not impossible to get her upgrades, or I should say prosthetics, but it's they're not ideal. They're not really upgrades, that's the thing. Strangely enough, actually, a cannibal might be helpful right now with the flesh golems we're trying to work on, but I think we'll just go with the, the most safest one, kind. I always like to choose my traits first. Now, what passion should we go with? Well, we've got an intellectual shooter. I like those two. And one more. Let's go ahead and do social. Look at that. She's already got a leg up in all three of those areas. And I think those are things she can kind of work on too while she's still young. So that's a good growth moment for her. No doubt about it. And of course, it's always important. Just check the work tab whenever you get a growth moment. Because there's going to be a few things that they can do. Like or help out with like child care. Which will benefit her social as she grows up. No sooner do we have one baby born and another is conceived. Look at that. So LeBlanc and Oyster. I forgot these two were even a couple. But now that I think of it, I do kind of remember their wedding. So I'm going to have them avoid pregnancy now from now on. We don't need just a whole bunch of kids running around. It's... It's not necessary. We've got quite a few already, but it is a good day for it. So I'm glad she's pregnant. And like I say, we've got a lot of little ones on our hands, so we've got to keep up with them. But more importantly than that, I've just initiated our next caster bridging ceremony. So everybody's heading towards the ritual room right now. And I've got Freya coming in to be assigned, hopefully, if everything is successful, uh, successful a magically gifted trait so if we look at Freya she is already a veteran which is a pretty decent little bonus trait there it doesn't give her like a class or anything like that but it does have a whole list of cool stuff now you know for her so I figured she was a good option plus she's 17 very young no serious issues she's been drinking which is a no-no at that age but hey this is the rim world so there's worse things she could be into and other than that she's going to be turn out to be a good capable fighter i think so this is not guaranteed i did have a failure the last time in fact with indo i was trying to give him the magically you have to trade but i did suspect at the time it might be the fact that he already has a psi power maybe that's why we failed but then again maybe beetle just wasn't doing that great that day oh man we failed again <gasps> damn it yep just goes to show it can happen with any pawn Ugh. Oh, so now I gotta wait like two months in game for that stupid ceremony to reset but uh, well, I wanted it to be rare, the magical pawns, that is, and, and they certainly are, so I got what I wanted, right? 
Oh boy, this is a good emerald. Our geomancer just went into a murderous rage. Observed rotting corpse? Come on, that's just daily life for us over here. You know, and if we hadn't had so many recent failures with our rituals, we might have been able to reform that. But uh, this means we got to arrest her, which is going to give her even worse mood buff. De oh my god, she's going for the baby. You. Oh my god, that's awful. Arrest her now, dude. Got her. Ho oh, ho. That was super close. Poor little baby. <gasps> Left arm and right leg. Oh my god, don't look, guys. That's horrific absolutely tragic what just happened but we've got some really good doctors so we are going to save little baby garar that's the newest one black was the name that was generated by the computer ai so i just gave it to her oh don't worry don't worry she will be put back together okay so everything's going to be fine as long as bear is relatively close he's kind of farish but let's see we got a yeah he'll he'll be okay three hours yeah he can get there he can get there in three hours she's only got two major bleeders so he just patches those up real quick she'll be safe but god damn it emerald what the hell's wrong with you that's some sick twisted stuff right there and the golems are getting upgraded guys so i've been deactivating them occasionally and whenever we get the resources throwing on a pair of wings or this or that you know and check it out this guy over here's got the wings already attached to them they're a little bit smaller not quite as intimidating as i had thought maybe but hey they're still cool it's the idea is good now i don't exactly know how they benefit them necessarily but it's whatever who cares i'm just throwing stuff on there right now look there it is wings range cost uh cooldown adds the ability that can grant the golem haste oh okay and that's pretty helpful i don't know how i use that maybe we have to have a golem answer for it that's something i'm definitely keeping my eyes out for is the golem answer right now i've currently got the ranger the ice tome which is another one i really want to give to somebody and the arcane script with question marks which i think has the potential to become whatever so maybe that could change into a golem answer if we get lucky but i wouldn't count on it right yeah and as a side note the arcane lab over here is shaping up we're missing a few resources for these focal points but i'm actually contemplating a little world trade here if we generate the map, it has been long enough that I can probably safely send a little caravan out to some of our friendly neighbors, although there aren't many of them. This one here, this one, and I think, yeah, we can also trade with this one. So we do have three settlements we can kind of loop around. Uh, maybe I should, because our stockpile is starting to fill up. A lot of textiles here, but just um, no traders to trade them to, unfortunately. Now, that stockpile looks a little bit more clear, doesn't it? I decided to go ahead and send that caravan, and they just arrived at their location. So, it's actually quicker to go this way, and then we'll loop around, see how this one looks, and this one. Just depending on how these trades go. But let's see what he's got here. So, we did trade with this one in the past, but I think it's been long enough that their stuff has probably reset. As you can see, I brought a lot of our textiles. Oh, they got some interesting weapons. Look at that magma blade for 3,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've got some interesting... I'm going to have to go through this a little carefully, but there's a few things I'm really looking for. Like some of those research scrolls or magical tomes. I'm not seeing any, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. Nonetheless, I'll still unload a bunch of our clothing and grab their silver. I might pick up some more animals for loading if they've got some. Oh, crap. Oh, they've got the yaks. Yeah, the yaks will work. Then we can butcher them when we get back home. Okay, well, I went through, grabbed the yaks, and they don't really have much else. After looking at the blade again closely, it's not really that special, and it's pretty overpriced. So we're going to pass on that. This might be the closest thing to a weapon we would purchase, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab their jade and the silver that they've got available. That's it, pretty much. We'll hold off on anything else we don't really need. 
right now in favor of just hopefully coming across one of these cities with a magical tome or a, a research scroll because that's really what we're desperate for so let's continue our little caravan right over here with the bannon or whatever they're called and then finally this will be the last one unfortunately yeah there are really no other good factions we i guess we could come all the way out here but that's quite a stretch i do wish there was a tribal nearby maybe that's possible but with all these mountains the a lot of these are impassable we'd probably end up having to go all the way around and it would take a week or something but sometimes the tribals will have like slaves they'll trade which would be interesting but regardless we'll just have to settle for what we've got access to as the caravan approaches its second trading destination the colony once again forces my attention back here Looks like there's been a little bit of a social fight, the Huntress and Darklight. Now, not to mention, also, there's been some new lovers going on. Indo and Sully have gotten together, which is pretty exciting. But let's see who started this fight here. Old Darklight, he's a newer guy. Oh, he called the Huntress a crocodile. This drove her into a rage, and she began a fight. You know, that's exactly what a crocodile would do in that situation, Huntress. I hope you realize you're falling into his trap. Don't do it. But he's an interesting guy, this dude. Creepy breathing, unaffected by death. He's nonviolent, but he's still starting fights. And he's 84 years old. We accepted him. I think, wasn't it, he joined after a ritual, I'm pretty sure. But we just let him come on board for a little bit of uh, fun and maybe some cannon fodder. Well, since he's nonviolent, he's not going to be much cannon fodder. But he certainly is causing problems, I'll say that. Okay, well, we can go over the second trade here. I think we will be sending this caravan on to the third settlement, but not too much noteworthy stuff. A couple of things, though. We got a fighter skill for thick skin, and that's literally like the only magical or martial type object they have other than just straight up weapons. No tomes, no research scrolls, nothing like that. But I am picking up another shield talisman. I really like those, not just for the fighters, but I often give them to like the uh, non-violent pawns too, in case they have to run out in the middle of a battle and rescue somebody from the battlefront. But um, citrine too, these these um, precious jewels, I'm starting to realize are very important in magical crafting and obviously a few other things. If they had some steel, I'd buy that too, but... Again, pretty lackluster here overall. Nonetheless, I'm getting a ton of silver out of this, so that's good news. If we get it home in time, then of course the next magical caravan that comes to visit us will be able to hopefully buy some seriously cool stuff. Okay, and we have arrived at the final trading des destination. I am going over this very closely with you guys just because, for one, there's a lot of cool stuff here, finally, that we're getting. But also, I'm nervous about it. You know, last time we did something like this, I think we got attacked while the group was out. But that's always, you know, a big concern. Regardless, like I said, this trade, the final trade, made it all worth it here. Didn't get any research scrolls. I think I need to be hitting up some of these uh quest to to um attack the ancient structures or whatever we got one of them active now we'll look into that later on but for right now i'm picking up some extra animals just so we can carry all the stuff because i'm finally getting my hands on some uranium steel ingots some demon blood to top us off because we do have two demon blood addicts and the tome for chronomancer that's one people have commented before is a really cool uh class because i think you can uh reduce the age of your colonists and stuff like that so that's going to be fun to play around with and of course i found the geomancer spell for the meteor that's another one you guys have recommended that we can use to just like basically get infinite resources you know she can call down one of these meteors you know, as long as we wait for her to refill her mana and then we just mine whatever resource it is and boom. So I'm excited to test that out. And we're basically clearing everything out. I'm just getting rid of all the thrombo fur I've got. And we're going to come home with a little bit of silver. But other than that, that was a good overall trading trip. Again, didn't get everything we wanted, but we're on the way home now, so that's very helpful. And uh, like I said, it's still going to be stressful until the moment that they step back into the map. 
Oh man, my worst fears have come true. Randy's hitting us with a raid while the caravan is out. But luckily it's just three people who are out. So I'm hoping we can handle this. Now it is a pretty big one. There's three groups like this. They're all tribals. They're all melee too, which is helpful. But the only one I've seen so far that's actually magically gifted is down in this group. The other ones, I didn't notice any magical gifted, but I haven't given them a chance to really come in fully off the side of the map. Sometimes, though, you won't see them right away. So let's just unpause things. Grab them. Oh, yeah. See, there's definitely somebody in here who's magically gifted. There's one right there. Maybe a couple. Yeah, there's two right there. Like I said, sometimes it can be deceiving if you just check it initially. Oh, yeah. There's a blade dancer in this group as well as i think a chronomancer look accelerate time reverse time yep that's not our that's not us oh god this one's got some in it too well uh what are we gonna do you know we gotta face off no matter what now someone has pointed out too that i haven't been using um connie's spell teleport as much as i should in fact this is going to be very helpful right now what we can do with the teleport apparently and i haven't tried it yet but we're going to is to target one of their magical users and have them teleported behind the lines to where kaz and maybe our other melee people can handle them real easy just basically gang up on them and down them so we're gonna try that too in addition course we've got the new golem so we need to activate those no doubt about it i hope they just come right on up to the uh front lines and stuff we'll see we'll see how things go because i can't i don't think i can control them directly not without a proper golem answer but we'll see how it goes okay looks like the first group is splitting some of them are going for the walls which we have prepared for oh good they just hit those poison traps i wonder what that does to them Oh, it does poison them. Interesting. Just increases their pain. Okay. I'm sure it reduces their combat effectiveness to a degree, but here we go. Looks like the new walls are helping already. Just kind of filtering them in properly. Yeah, look at them. They don't want to cross these lines here. <gasps> okay, okay. So somebody's throwing out spells already. Let's see. Is it this guy? He's probably one of them. He might be the only one. I think he's a death knight. Yeah, he's a death knight. And we're hearing the growling sounds of the sentinels. They're mean creatures. All right, I tell you what. Let's grab Sully because she can help out with her spells. Let's get some elementals tossed into the mix. This way, if the sentinels go down, these guys will still be distracted here. Very nice. Oh, yeah. And, of course, I did go through and make sure everybody's got their points distributed. Now, let's check out Connie. What's the range on this teleport? Oh, look. Super close. Well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. We're going to use this, though. No doubt about it. Oh, there he is. Okay. Can we get him? Yeah, let's teleport him. So, does it ask me where we teleport him to? Or what does it say here? To be warned creates a temporary method of long range transport. Be warned the portal collapses after a brief period, causing feedback explosion to the point where it was created. Okay, not a big deal. Hmm, not sure how that works, but. Ooh. Should I do summon? Oh, I think it's summon. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. All right, we'll, we'll summon him over here. Hey, maybe that explosion will be helpful, though. Okay got a great range on it though right do we get him oh yeah he's here <laughs> hit him go 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 kaz i want you to jump on the other side of him dragon strike to right there please oh crap we got people attacking him from the lines here uh it's probably because they don't have much else to shoot at i don't want to worry about that let's just get has to take him down come on borba's collapsed due to extreme exhaustion get with it borba there's a fight going on there we go we got him oh did he die damn it he's dead wow that's okay that's okay that worked beautifully though thank you so much for the tip on that oh christ now let's see what's going on down here all right i've got uh, emerald here i think i'm gonna have her throw down another sentinel 
She's ran out of magic, so she can't throw down her earthen hammer, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Sully can probably do her little defense pylon. This thing's really helpful. I'm going to put it in right in the middle, and it usually attacks or attracts a lot of fire from the enemy. Look, the stone golem sees out here doing it. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is exactly what we want. All right, all right, it's looking good. Look at the turret going to town over here. Let's, oh, 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 what's that? Hold on, Connie, can you summon him? Tell it, um, damn it, it's on cooldown. Hold on, we do have another person. Wasn't it zombie? Yeah, there he is. Can you do that, buddy? Oh, he can. Oh, he can do it. Wait, where's he at? Let me make sure he's got some backup next to him. Okay, here we go. I've just cast it. Did we get him? Oh, I think... Yep, yep, yep. No, where is he? Oh, she might have... Still be targeting... Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now he was just teleported. <laughs> there we go. Alright, get on him. Oh, damn, they downed him within a second. Killed him instantly. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, that's okay. At least we're eliminating these magical users, you know? Oh, look at this guy. What do you got there, bud? No way. Hero, the amber spear, unusable with shields. Looks like it produces a shield. Oh, we need that. And there's a some sort of caster behind him. All right, we're not done yet. Also, the walls are holding up pretty well. So far, they've just been tripping the traps and stuff, so I'm keeping an eye on that. But also, as a note, I do have the doors open here. As you can see, some of them are actually getting in, which isn't great, but... It's all right, Cass will go take care of it. Get over there, Cass. Let's get you to hit these guys, please. Melee Owl the Scout. There we go. Oh, look, he's go he's smart. He's going for the pylon. He knows what to attack, doesn't he? <gasps> Who? Oh, one of our golems. Does it say... I thought it's a gentle golem. I was like, what? The thing better not be gentle. All right, give him a tiger strike right in his mouth. Oh. <gasps> Oh, Indo's collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. What's up with that? Can you still use your command, possibly? Uh-oh. Crap, looks like they're coming for the doors, guys. All right, let's close these up. Slam these things closed. LeBlanc, get over here. Move, move, move your ass. Connie's dropping from exhaustion. You know what I think that is? It might be because Picard. I turned on his provisioner. I think, yeah, there's downsides to it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <gasps> oh, they're really coming. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Hold on. Let me see who else has some spells still. Okay, thank God for Sully. She's still got a defense pile on. That'll send out some distraction, but we need to get Cookie. Okay, Cookie's fighting. Blade, I need you over here fighting too, bro. All right, Cookie, good job. Get over here. LeBlanc's not really a melee person. She shouldn't be fighting right now. Damn it. All right, I got to get Picard to move back. Get out of here, Picard. You're screwing stuff up. I did grab one of the flesh golems, too. He's coming over as well, so... Oh, they just got to it. They destroyed the turret there. Damn. And they are still coming strong. No worries, no worries. Look at Cole on the ground over here asleep. All right. Yep, not much else, too, in the way of magic. We've used almost everybody's full magic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn her arrow storm on. Yeah, she's probably the last one to be able to use her abilities. This is good, though. This is good. Oh, my God. Jesus. One of their pawns just threw something serious out. Oh, man. We are dropping due to exhaustion. Uh, wait. Let's go ahead and attack this guy with the spear, please. Let's see. Can we do defenders? What does that do? No. Oh, thank God. Wait. Neanderthals are fleeing. Some One of the groups is fleeing here. They're going the wrong way, man. They're breaking through. Come on. Okay, there's the defenders. That's pretty huge, actually. Um, I probably should have done it inside here. Where is Kaz, bro? We need to be all over these guys right now. Let's see, let's get him to dragon kick out here. Jump out there, bro. Come on. I need you out on the front. Chris, why aren't you shooting, bro? He's got, like, no range whatsoever. Picard just dr collapsed due to exhaustion. Get a fire spew going right in the middle of this group. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That'll make him freak out. Okay, okay. Mm. 
He's pretty much out of, well, almost out of chi. Let's use up what little he's got left. As long as he survives, we'll be okay, because he can meditate back to health. Oh my god, come on, guys. Take out these people behind the lines. I might have the nonviolent pawns move into the prison just to keep him safe. Okay, I'm going to shift some of these people from over here up a little bit. Man, this got wild. I did not, I shouldn't have kept the doors open that long. That was definitely a mistake on my part, but. Oh, Cookie! Been beaten to death. Well, kind of figured that might happen. She was one of our melee people. Kaz went on an insulting spree. He's not dead, is he, now, but he's downed. He is downed. Okay, we're still fighting. Wait, where's the rest of our golems? Okay, get out here, dude. Hold on, let's open these doors up. Is that an enemy right there? That is an enemy. <laughs> He's gonna try and break through those doors too. Damn, they're all over the place and still coming strong. Oh no, did they break through? Yes, they got through over here too. Honestly, I think we're seeing the last group and a lot of the red we're seeing are just downed enemies. So I think we might be okay as long as we finish off a few more of these. Oh, Connie got back up. Thank God, Connie. Can you do the barrier? Put that barrier, like, right there. Okay, good. She's letting them all in. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. They're just going to exit the other way, so not a big deal. The Huntress has just collapsed due to exhaustion. What a giant mess, folks. Oh, my God. Look at this. We did manage, I think, to pull it off with only one fatality, so far at least. Uh, and it was a melee person. It sucks, too, because Cookie was a brawler, fast learner, really good pawn. Not gifted with a martial ability, but still amazing pawn. Uh, so we're, we'll have to mourn Cookie in our own special way, guys. But that does it for the raid i think just about there's a few stragglers here and a lot of potential prisoners so i'm going to look at each one of these downed ones just to see if we can get lucky and grab somebody who's kind of special i don't know since we haven't had any luck with those caster bridging ceremonies it would be a great benefit to grab a couple of special pawns but i think we're going to end it there for today guys it's been a pretty eventful raid we've come over the hump though so it's all downhill at this point unless you know who decides to hit us with back to back as i've said so just make sure you're subscribed to the channel for the next episode guys hit that like button if you're enjoying the series so far leave me some comments down below it's always great hearing from you guys and your tips and tricks have been really helpful and of course i will see you all on the next one